This week, the Department of Justice handed down its harshest sentence to date in connection with the January 6th insurrection. Former Proud Boys leader Henry Enrique Tarrio was sentenced to 22 years behind bars and 36 months of supervised release for seditious conspiracy and other charges related to the January 6th attempted coup. Many took to X to mock the Afro-Cuban white nationalist for being the face of white supremacy and pledging his allegiance to former President Donald Trump, someone who more than likely would not go to bat for him. Now, D.L. Hughley stated, I'll bet Enrique Tarrio understands now, the darker the skin, the longer the sentence. Another ex-user stated, Karma, Enrique Tarrio, a black man who hates black people and was the leader of the Proud Boys, a racist, fascist, white nationalist organization, was sentenced to 22 years in prison where he will be surrounded by black men. Another user said, I wonder which prison gang Enrique Tarrio is going to par with. The white neo-Nazis won't take him as he is Afro-Cuban. The black or Latin gangs won't take him as he is a neo-Nazi. I guess he's got 22 years to figure it out. Another user said, I sure hope no one in the prison where Enrique Otario is about to spend 22 years remembers the time he and his buddies set a Black Lives Matter flag on fire. Now in 2020, it became public knowledge that the Proud Boys were tied to Trump when he called them by name and gave them a directive during a presidential debate. Give me a name, give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists Boys. and right Proud Boys. Proud Boys, stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing own, problem. This, is a, this is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing problem. The 39-year-old answered Trump's call, and although he was not at the Capitol on January 6th, he organized the attack from a hotel in Baltimore in an effort to stop Congress from certifying the votes from the 2020 election. While Tario's legal team tried to convince the jury that he was simply a misguided patriot and that he deserved a lesser sentence, their efforts failed. And now Tario will be remembered as the black man who threw his life away to support a former president and movement that will more than likely never support him or his community. For more on this story, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ashley M. Banks, and make sure you check out The Grio at thegrio.com.